I'm joined by case manager Alan Dowson after the season's 3 0 win against Enfield Town. Alan, it's early season, early doors, not one to get carried away, but how many points are we going to win the league by this year? <laughs> yeah. oh, I think enough points to get the top yet, eh? and we'll, um, we'll kick things on there. Um, no, two clean sheets, two wins, great. Tolfi's been outstanding. Um, even tonight at 1 0, he makes that save there, great. Back four's kept two clean sheets. We've got to be ports saying that the two wingers were very dangerous. And I thought the two full backs were excellent. I thought Alan Good was superb. I really did. Mighty Summer was excellent in there. And uh, with Andrea getting his collision, which I thought was a penalty, to be honest. I, I thought he's. But ref sees it differently. Um, what a change for shape. And Sweeney coming in. And it's great for him to knock one in there. You know, to score a great goal as well, which he's done here a few times. So, fair play. And Moss, you know, he's been scoring goals pre season. So, front two scored now. And um, Sweeney's got in the act as well, so all good stuff, like, you know. You did switch tactics after Andrew yep. McCollum got injured. What was the thing behind that, not putting on a centre for like for like replacement? God, I think Sweeney's been in unluckiest out a lot. He hasn't been dropped, Sweeney. What, what it is, he's coming to a game, and I've got to keep an eye on him and all that, you know, because sometimes people have been put rubbish in his head and um, tell him that he'd be back in the pro game next year or he'd be whatever. You know, he's a 19 year old kid trying to get an outside and that's how he should be. And I just clocked a little bit pre-season that he was very eager and keen and I think he's going to be a damn good player and I think he will go in the pro game I do. But just trying to get a button on it by getting him down a little bit by saying that you know get an outside first, don't worry about the pro game, get an outside and that'll come. He's got a contract here and we're delighted to get him on a contract. He's been very well brought up by his mum and dad who think the world of him and take him all other players. Now, I know how to treat young players. I've had I've sold young players before, as you know. Um, here have Annette Walton, and all it is is this said um, Dan will let you know, listen, your, your time's going to come, but get yourself another team before you start thinking about anything else. In the last few games of pre season, he didn't do very well, to be honest, but I just thought it was too much on his shoulder as being a young man, and anybody expects a lot of him. Comes on tonight and he busts a game and he scores a great 25 yard goal and he won all his headers. And I'm delighted for him because he's a very, very nice kid and um, he's somebody who um, I would like to do well. But just keeping him, you know, getting him in a few, dragging him out once or twice, and um, that's how we treat young players. And once he gets used to our level, because he's only played a few times last season, then he'd be fine. And hopefully he wouldn't push him on where he wants to be. But he's got to play for us first, you know. And Ryan Moss this evening after Andrew McCullin went off, yep. he led the line magnificently after today. Ah, and he really deserved his goal tonight. What a beat it was. A great finish, because he, he should have had one earlier. And we've had a couple of chances tonight, to be honest. We've had one or two, I think, and a couple of sloppiness, but we've had one um, we've had one or two good chances tonight. Um, especially Calf, who was excellent um, again. Um, he's had a good chance. He should have probably finished the game earlier. But once they've got the second one, we'll fancy it to kick on. They're good side and they're well, they're, they're, they do well. They do a good side and they're well managed. They've got a good result on Saturday and they do everything right. And um, good people on the bench, good people in the club to run the club. So they're very good side. So their support us tonight. They, they, I was well, fantastic. I could see them behind the goal for flags out and all that. And I think they're a nice club and people, to be honest, and been done things about right So and I'm not just saying because we've won the game. I would say that if we've lost it, where we had took four points off last season, and I would say the same things that the very well run club with a very good management team. It was a solid performance again today, another clean sheet. Yep. But how much did we rely on Rob Tolfrey a couple of times and uh, on Saturday with the penalty as well? I think if you're going to keep clean sheets, you've got to rely on a goalkeeper. You know, I've said from day one, I've said it for the last four or five years, I think he's the best in the league, if you like. You know, rely on a couple, not so much tonight, Saturday, I thought, oh, a lot. But um, that's, if you've got you to have any chance, if you're going to finish anywhere in the league, we need a good goalkeeper, we need a solid back four. And we've realised that. And, um, and at the minute, we're two games in, he's done very well and the back four's done very well. You know, he let to keep them standing up the, uh, and we will if we're going to achieve anything. But at the minute, yeah, um, he has been excellent for us. And, uh, you know, he'll have his, he, I thought the first half he dropped one and could let the lad in. So there will be one of them like it is with goalkeepers. But when you make a mistake, you, you don't get punished. I think that's uh, the biggest thing. So, all good stuff, you know. So, it's, um, you know, we'll just keep cricket on. We'll look forward to Saturday against East Fulwick and um, we'll kick on for me, you know. It's a, a different side on the pitch. It's a different team off the pitch as well, yourself and Gary Abbott. How is your approach in terms of training with the team, anything like that? How's that altered since Mark Hams has gone? Uh, Abbott's been brilliant. Just like Martin has, he's been excellent. He has. Um, and Hams, he was brilliant as well, as you know. He's very good mate. And I hope we had won tonight. I don't know how we got on. I hope we won tonight. And, uh, I wish them all the best there and uh, all the best. But I'm on the training ground all the time now, which I've always wanted to be. And um, I talked to the board of directors about that and they agreed that I started going off the training ground a bit and I started doing too much fundraising instead of um, instead of relying on the football and all that, you know. So all I want to do is concentrate on the football and I love being on the training ground with players and I've been on the training ground more with players now and I have been for seven years, to be honest. So that's what I'll enjoy doing. And um, when you do things like that, you enjoy football more. And when you get results, you enjoy it more as well. So that's the only difference what it is. I've been on the training ground 
I was always on it. I never missed training or nothing like that. But I, I just um, you get stuck in it a bit more, like you know, which I enjoy doing. But Abu and Martin, we all share responsibility. But when I used to stand off a little bit, I'm a bit more hands-on. If you like on the training ground, that's the only change. Really, uh, nothing else, which I enjoy doing. Made a bit of a flippant remark when I opened the interview about winning the league. It's going to be a tough, tough call, isn't it, this year? There's some big teams out there. Some good sides, aye, but honestly. We've got six points in the bag, which is great. And why not? If you want to go on top, so you can do at top at the minute. If you want to go on top, quite a nice one. Um, you want to go on top. You want to. Um, you want to do well this season. You've got to win matches. As simple as that. There's no it's a but. But it's two games in, man. You know, it's just like that time when I was hanging on for my job and we lost them four games. People were shouting, and screaming, as they do, and all of this. And we still got in the playoff final that year and probably should have won it. It's a, it's a long old season, but you've got to keep the players fresh and keep them bubbly. And they've worked ever so hard tonight, and they've worked ever so hard on Saturday. And um, a great set of lads, you know. And uh, uh, they give everything, and if they keep giving everything, they'll get no confidence off me. But uh, it's still a lot early days. But it's not new. Just seeing a local report of it, saying, "Oh yeah, it must be." Of course, we're delighted. Uh, but uh, we'll just work hard first at training, and then we'll work hard on Saturday again against East Fulham, uh, a good side as well. And very well thought of. I thought we were excellent last season. Got the playoff final. So uh, it's just two tough games. That's all it is. Um, and we've got another couple to come. So if we work hard, we'll not be far short. But it's a work ethic what we've prided ourselves on and getting behind the ball and being hard. To break down, and if we do that, then we'll not be that far off. If we don't do that, we'll, we, could, we would have got beaten by a good Enfield side tonight, and we certainly would have got beaten on Saturday with 10 men for 30, um, 27 minutes. But um, the lads should be proud. Not, not the me and the management will keep doing what we do, but I think it's the lads who've got the two results tonight, to be honest, not us. And they're uh, fair play to them. Thanks very much. Not a problem. Cheers now. Thank you. Stop.